shows Woodrow Wilson, his legacy on uh, Armenians doing research on, in that region. So you've been here before? I, yes, I, I, I was here several bit. times. Uh, I was here the la last month as well. I, I meant, uh, actually, metaphorically, you've been here before when it comes to a government recognizing genocide. Yes. You've been here before. And so this is a big day. Can you talk to me a little bit about the power in what just happened with President Biden? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Biden for recognition and reconfirmation of the genocide. Uh, United States was one of the first government in 1951 to speak about Armenian genocide, but we were waiting a long time to have this uh, very important term for us pronounced by president. Uh, this will have uh, a positive impact in U.S.-Armenian relationship because recognition of genocide is a prevention of genocides. And in our region, we can see in Armenia around the situation is very tense. So there was a war some months ago, and. We hope that these relations with the United States and the recognition will prevent more the escalation of the situation and will have a lasting peace in our surroundings. I want to ask you a question politically because I think um, over the years presidents have said, you know, he, essentially they don't want to upset the Turkish government, right? Yes. Do you think that this takes the power out of that, just that, that, this, that there's so much weight held over this when it comes to it politically, saying one word? Do you think that this strips the power out of that in the future? Uh, you see, all governments actually knew that there was a genocide. The problem was that Turkey was rejecting and the United States government was concerned that it will have a negative impact on bilateral relations. Currently, uh, first of all, it's thanks to President Biden. He uh, sees that the truth is higher than temporary uh, bilateral relations, uh, it will support not only the Armenian people, it will prevent uh, genocide all over the world because, you know, the Holocaust, Hitler himself, Adolf Hitler, he said that if the Armenian genocide was recognized, the Holocaust uh, would not happen. Now, who now remembers the Armenian extermination? This is of This is that we hope that recognition will support all the people in the world prevention of genocide. Talk to me personally, because you, you are here, um, you know, in an official aspect, in always, I mean, imagine for the rest of your life. But this has got to be really powerful for you personally, especially if you've dedicated, you know, your professional life yes. to this. Talk to me about that. Uh, personally, it will impact on life of many people, including me, because some people have their family lives. They want to uh, the history of their families be recognized because rejection is a continuation of a genocide. Uh, secondly, for me, as a researcher that makes research in the field of U.S. Armenian relationship of genocides, it also uh, makes truth higher than uh, temporary interest. Uh, we hope that this will help in uh, all, all the world uh, to, uh, to support the researchers as well and to uh, emphasize mainly not only the recognition but also the issue of reparation and re retribution which is important as well. Uh, one last question before I let you go. You know, I, I've seen before, you know, people who are Armenian saying this is important because it's important to recognize my humanity, my history. Do you agree? Yes, I agree because it's part of the identity. Uh, sometimes tragedies are very important for people for their identity and the recognition of a tragedy is very important. When you share with your... Uh, Tragedy, it makes you easier. Why people mourn their deaths? Because in sharing this, when you are rejected, not recognized, it makes people uh, to feel very harmful to themselves in their sides. And we, this will ease the feeling of people and uh, will show to the world that really the United States are the main supporters of human rights and democracy in the world.